Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make some uh, moth orchids out of wafer paper. They're super fast, they're super easy, um, and I hope you like it. First off, what we're going to need is we're going to need some wafer paper. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. You can make a bunch of flowers out of this one pack. We're going to need some wire. Um, I'm using some 20 gauge and some 30 gauge wires. Um, some pliers are helpful, but you don't have to have them. And then I'm going to be using um, some my colors from Sugar Art, some dust colors to color my orchids. Um, and then the only other things I'm going to be using is uh, some water and a water pen. These make making way for flowers super, super easy because the water's already in the pen and then you don't have to worry about over dipping. Um, and a little bitty paintbrush. So we really don't need a lot of tools to do this. First, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our paper, our wafer paper. Um, the template for these will be in the link below the video. So what you'll do is you'll just take that template, cut it out, print it out, cut it out with scissors, and then you can trace that onto your piece of wafer and then either use an X-Acto or a small, like a small embroidery um, set of scissors are great and then cut out all of your pieces. Once you have all of your pieces cut out, then we're going to make our um, bend our wire to put on here. So what we're going to do is first we're going to bend our wire back just maybe a quarter of an inch. Bend it and make a hook. Bend it all the way down. You don't have to use the... Bend it down like this. Okay. Then we're going to take that and we're going to bend it down. And what we're doing is we're making a little shelf that we're going to sit our petals on for our flower. Kind of give it some support. Then we're going to take our first set of petals and we're going to add some water. We're going to stick our stem through. Now you can add the water after you do this. You're going to want to come not where it's the center, you're going to come up just a little above the center and feed this through and then hold it there. What we're doing is we're basically adding a back so you don't see that little shelf that we made and you don't see that on your finished flower. Now we're going to sandwich these two together. Now if you sandwich them and you're afraid you're going to mess it up and not get it exact, don't make yourself crazy over it because I just didn't get this exact. What you do is you just come back with your little pair of scissors and see where these edges don't match. Just trim them. Nobody will ever know. And if like you don't get all of this to stick, just add a little bit of extra water. And stick it together. And make sure that it's all all stuck. Okay. Now what we're gonna do with this guy is we're gonna add some color to it. Now to color these today, I'm just mixing a little bit of powder dust with some Everclear. There's a billion ways you can color wafer paper and we'll do that in another tutorial but for today I'm just mixing this with some Everclear. You could use gel color if that's what you have. It all works. Okay, that we're just gonna let it sit. And let that sit and dry for a bit. Okay, now we're gonna take these other two petals and we're gonna cut a piece of the 30 gauge wire which is really thin and we want to cut it to where it's almost the entire width of both of these petals and we're just going to cut a little piece and then once again we're going to use the water 
Now, if you don't have a water pen, you can use just a regular um, paintbrush with some water. Works just fine. Just be really careful. You don't want to add too much water when you're doing it that way because wafer paper is made out of potato starch and some vegetable shortening. And if you add too much water, it will literally dissolve and then your flowers will be no bueno. So, again, if your edges aren't perfect, you can trim. I'm not gonna worry about it with these. Okay, now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna add some more color. Now you can go online. Um, moth orchids come in a, a whole variety of colors so you can go online and see all different kinds and mimic those if you want. Now I'm going to add the spots and I just got a little bit of red and I'm going to red straight up. Okay. I'm going to add some little dots. You could do this with an edible marker too if you really wanted to. And see how this is coming up. I didn't get enough water on that. So what we're going to do is just kind of come back and do it again. No harm, no foul. Okay, now we put the wire in here for the reason being is that after this flower is, is done and assembled, because we have the wire, we have the ability to manipulate this way for paper. If we didn't have the wire, then once the wafer got dry, it sometimes tends to get brittle, and then you wouldn't be able to bend it as easily without cracking it. So this lets you bend it just a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna take this, we're gonna add this to the center. Now, if you want to give some more movement to these back petals, all you have to do is just kind of roll them with your paintbrush edge, kind of like this, and it'll help give them a little bit of movement. Okay, so we're going to put that back down now. We're going to take these centers. You don't have to put two together, but I think it adds a little bit of weight to it, which helps. Okay, we're gonna add yellow to the center. And then we're gonna add some red to make the throat of the orchid. Like I said just a minute ago, you can use your um, end of your paintbrush to kind of add some movement just by curling it. And that's all there is to it, guys. We just take this and put it here. And glue them together. And there you go. A really fast orchid.